I'm vlogging. That's part of the YouTube channel? It's going on for free? Yeah. Yup, that's me. I went to Comic Con in Toronto 2023. Little skinny, isn't she? <gasps> oh. Yes, I went to Comic Con. Also, this video was supposed to come out, um, like, weeks ago, but... Stupid ass school. But yeah, back to the video. Where all the stupid things I love and adore is all in one place. If you don't know what Comic Con is, then, like, are you living under a fucking rock? <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Don't get about her. It's a place where every nerd and we come together to show off their art or cosplay as whatever they love. People who win this convention are also able to make whatever their creative hands think of and sell for whatever they think it's worth. This is cool because most artists are starving and need the money. This was a joke. I know all artists are starving of money. That also sounds sarcastic, so I would just, you know, shut up about artists. So, of course, with all the nerd stuff that is in the convention and the golden question from Fiona, Come to Comic Con with me, you little life son of a bitch, you fucking nerd. Of course, Minion cannot reject this offer. So off we go. <laughs> what? First, I had to wake up early, and god damn, I hate waking up early. Like, asking a Valentine player to wake up early, like, who the fuck do you think I am? Like, oh. anyways, during the whole thing, I had to bring Grogu with me, or what you casuals call it. Baby Yoda. Anyways, we met at the subway station. During it, we also took some, like, hard ass photos with Grogu and Ian. Look at that. Oh, and to tell you is too scary. So of course, with this amount of drip, the subway ride was literally a century long because he needed to cool off, you know. Toronto couldn't handle his hotness. Anyways, we finally arrived at the convention. And god damn the whole thing was like finally finding a place where all nerds and weaves could fit into one place. No, it didn't smell bad if you were wondering. But of course, before entering, you know, we had to be stopped. You know wanna know why? Because I forgot to save the QR code that has was sent weeks before but do not worry we finally got in the first activity of the day well of course make pom-pom pikachus before getting into the line there was also two guys sword fighting so i guess that was cool We eventually got into a line to make the pom pom Pikachus, and like, it was kinda weird, cause we're literally the only adults making the Pikachus. But who the fuck cares? This ain't stopping me from making my Asian Pikachu! We finally finished our Pikachus, and all of ours were very, uh, <laughs> nice looking, I guess, but pretty sure none of us followed the instructions. After making our pom pom Pikachus, we headed off to a uh, fortune teller? Uh, yeah, not much to say on this, but, like, the woman was Asian, so, like, you know, if the woman is Asian, that means she knows what she is talking about, right? Like, if it was to be some random woman that is not Asian, you know, might be crazy? <laughs> that sounds really racist. Anyways, during the session, she asked for what I wanted to know, and, like, you know, my brain was empty, so <laughs> I did not know, I did not know what I wanted to know. What's the point of this anyways? We're all just gonna die, everyone's going to forget us, we're all just a little speck in a world full of people, just the same as us. What's the point of anything I do? We're all just gonna die and be forgotten. Anyways, I asked for future, and she said I was gonna be successful! She also said I need to find a balance between grounded and being enthusiastic, so, uh, I don't know what, what the fuck that means, but yeah. Off to the next activity, looking at the booths. But, find him! Looking around, I saw the coolest shit. Bro, there was Valorant, Star Wars, Marvel, and a whole bunch of fucking anime shit. Like, oh my god. I even got this cool butt from my, uh, <laughs> this show. Uh, Ian Fiona both got butts from One Piece, which is, I guess, the superior anime? I don't know. Never watched it, One Piece. And never will. <laughs> there was, like, a bunch of cool Valorant keychains and... Like, most of the agents? Like, where the fuck is Gecko, my favorite agent? There was also a lot of, you know, Marvel and DC comic shit, but like, I came for Star Wars, you know? And god damn, I was blessed with the best fucking poster I've ever seen in my life. This poster was a literal drawing of the best scene in all of Clone Wars, if not fucking all of Star Wars, the burying of the dead scene. Bro, I would literally cry at this scene, like, every time, no matter the fucking situation. I could be taking a shit and be bawling my eyes out from this just i don't know just looking at it i could go on for like 
Oh, just for one hour. This would be an hour long video if I like talked about this scene, but of course, I had to spend my money on this poster because you know why? Yeah, I have to, which is twenty dollars. You know, I say it's worth it because you know most artists are starving and need that money, so <laughs> it goes to a good cause. Again, that was a joke. Please don't get offended by that. Thanks. Anyways, it's lunchtime. Time is it? It's time. It's lunchtime! Hey, what's for lunch? Unfortunately, the McDonald's was closed for some reason, meaning I had to buy the Asian food, so yeah, I got myself noodles. For some reason, this um, noodles gave me a stomachache for the rest of the day, so it's okay though, we shied through it, yeah. Part of me wants to walk away till you really wish I to After lunch, we soon started looking at the rainy booths that we haven't seen, and bro, there was like body pillows everywhere. There was even body pillows of My Hero Academia girls, but like, bro. <laughs> Those are children! What the fuck? Like, if you buy those, then, um... Well... Um... Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Soon, we finally came across the minifigure section. And, like, yeah, you bet I bought something. Bro, they're, like, all fucking custom-made. Like, why, why would I not buy something, you know? This also means that the figures were a million times fucking better quality than the shit LEGO makes. You know? They have fucking... Uh, fucking prints everywhere. On the leg, on their... On their side of the arms, their side of their body. You know, everywhere. This leading me to get the 501st minifigure pack, which of course, you know, contained eight of my favorite clones. I got fucking Rex, Fives, Echo, Hardcase, Jesse, Tub, Dogma, and Kicks. Yes, I know his name from heart. I did not search them up. Honestly, I wish LEGO could do as good as a job as, you know, whoever made these figures. Like, why did you do that, LEGO? Like, like, tell me, LEGO, LEGO, what the fuck is this? Like, what the hell? What? Look at this Clone Wars Anakin Obi Wan. Like, what the fuck is this, bro? Like, bro, look, look at his eyes. Why does it look like that? It's like staring into your soul. Why is it so big? Anyways, I say that fifty. That was fifty dollars well spent. You know, those eight pieces of detailed plastic. You know, worth the, all of it. You know. And if you disagree, well, fuck. Yes, there are celebrities that came at Comic Con, but like, you know, unfortunately we did not have enough money <laughs> to take a picture of one. So what we decided to do was stare at Karen Fuck how do you say her name? Fakuhara? Fuck you fuck you are. I don't know. But we you know, we decided to just decided to stare at her from like from afar, you know? Well, you know, to be honest, it just me and Ian kinda just looked at her for like two seconds and like <laughs> Fiona on the other hand. Bro, I swear to god, Fiona was like literally staring at her for like a whole like five minutes just staring at her. just blank staring at her He'd, like not even caring if she was uncomfortable or not like what the fuck bro eventually we stopped staring at karen fokuhara and went to the bottom floor of the convention to look at cool cosplays bro there was literal among us going around and taking pictures <laughs> it's kind of funny because the among us was even dancing with the fucking bot or whatever that thing is ian fiona also found like this your cosplayer which they were like fucking amazed about but I, I didn't see the hype about it, uh, around it, so uh, maybe it's just me. But, you know, I just I just agreed with them because, you know, why not? Uh, yeah, yeah, she a baddie bitch. Wow, girl, girl boss, slay. Or, I don't know, whatever. whatever. <laughs> uh, we also took pictures of stormtroopers, so yeah, I guess that's very cool. If only they were clone troopers. <laughs> and like, you know, before you guys say they are the same, they are not, okay? They are not the same thing. They are different in every single way, okay? If, if you disagree with me, <laughs> We eventually just sat down a hallway, you know, drained as fuck. I don't, I don't know how this convention drained the shit out of us, but like, I guess it did. We eventually just decided to go back home, and wow, very nice convention, I guess. That was like my second one in my whole lifetime. Anyways, here's some Pikachu pictures that we took that was supposed to be used for a raffle, but you know, we forgot to take the fourth one. So here, here it all, here all is, here it all is. Ugh, just disappointed I didn't. See any Ahsoka cosplays? <laughs> um, where's the end of video? I'm currently eating a banana, so yeah, that's why I sound like it. But there was some cool cosplays that I forgot to put in a video, so here it is. Um, what else did I say? Oh yeah, watch my last video, or else you're 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 gonna be fucked. Mhm. Mm also. Uh, I don't know. Just like and subscribe, I guess. Bye.